on walking along that trail and it started being a bit strange because the marks weren't as clear as before. Deep in the bush I had no sense of direction and now I was stuck with this little trail and hoping that it would lead me back to the river and to the camp. And then after hours where I'm already despaired because, you know, it took me away from the river, I see this footprint. It's not an old footprint. I see that footprint in the mud and I realize this is a hiking boot and there's only one person in the world that could have left that footprint. It's Kevin. Kevin! footprints wasn't Kevin's, it was mine. You know, all these hours, half a day that I walked, I actually, I actually walked in, in, in a circle. This trail didn't lead me anywhere. After hours on the river, Kevin's condition is critical. He is barely conscious and has no idea if he has passed San Jose or not. All of a sudden, I see a canoe. The current is swift, so it's, it's taking me down river quite a ways. And then finally, they turned their heads and they began waving their arms. Like this, like down river, down river. So I let go of the branch I've been holding on to, and I began swimming towards the shore. When they approached me, they asked uh, two, uh, two questions. They asked me if I was lost, and they asked me if I was hungry. It was kind of funny. They told me that they, they went hunting in this area twice a year. I mean, it's literally one in a million. It was just pure luck. I had been saved, but I, I didn't know if Yossi was alive. But I just had this feeling that Yossi wouldn't give up. 